She's my stepdaughter. Well, I assure you, I didn't expect to hear that, sir. Are you Raybot? Inspector Raybot. And just who are you? Joe Walker. And I object to the way that I've been treated in your country. And I'm warning you, if this gorilla doesn't let go of me immediately, he's going to be sorry. <laughs> I told them to arrest you, Mr. Walker. My God, Inspector, how dare you sit there quietly talking and let the real criminals walk into Johnny's room where they tried to murder her? Is that true? Well, I meant to tell you as soon as... Listen, Inspector, uh, I want you to see to it that she's moved out of there right away. I'll take care of it as soon as I've talked to your counsel. Oh, I wouldn't bother the counsel if I were you. Because if that idiot had done his job when he should have, nobody would have gotten anywhere near the girl. In fact, your own men aren't much when it comes to intelligence. He dismissed the guards who were stationed outside the door of Jenny's room. Well, I was going Get to going dismiss them. Besides, with all those nurses and... Uh, oh. Who are you? The idiot. Oh. Well, then make yourself useful for once. I want you to call the hospital as soon as you can and tell them not to permit anyone near the room of Jenny Carter, if that's not too much to ask of a consul general. Whatever you say, sir. Mm. Mr. Walker... It certainly has been a pleasure meeting you. Bring it out. Slowly. Slowly. Easy. That's it. Hold it. It's a sixth floor, 12th window from the right, got it? As soon as you drop me off, take it up and bring it back 30 seconds later. Stay sick long with you oh, around. Go on. St. Sophia from here, and there's the Hippodrome. St. Sophia is usually thought of as the first major Christian church since it was constructed a thousand years before the Church of St. Peter in Rome. Later on, you'll have a chance to tour the inside of the mosque. Lemonade, ice cold lemonade. Thank you. Hello? Can you hear me? What's going on there, lemonade? Any more customers, ice cold lemonade to hear? Inspector, they didn't show up yet. How long will it take them to get here? They'll be there any minute now. They left the mosque. Listen, Walker. Stay right where you are until they arrive. We'll be ready for them when they get here, Inspector. Shushan. No. Hey. Listen, I said no. We're done in a second. I tell your fortune by your oh, weight. Let go. Let me see how tall you are. Ah. A man just arrived. He's approaching them. But I can't tell who. He's walking straight for the tourist group. On the right is the Mosque of Ahmed, also called the Blue Mosque. It's Alan Hood. Bring him here and hurry. Be glad to. This is the main entrance. If you will just follow the path, you get the best view of the gardens. Miss Kessler. I'm Alan Hood. 
You know, George's brother. Oh, yes. George mentioned you the other day. Well, he asked me to get in touch with you. Since the police are behind the whole investigation, I... Not only behind, all around. Oh, really? Inspector Raybon wants to speak to you. What do you mean? Uh, what is this? Nothing new there? Good. You will continue with Operation Tourist as planned, right? That's all. Well, Mr. Hood, I advise you to leave your brother to the authorities. We'll get in touch with you when we've located him. The way I see it, we're both looking for my brother, but for different reasons, Inspector. You think of George as a criminal. You're mistaken to believe that. If he's got something to do with it, it's only because he's fallen into a trap. I'm sorry, but we were obliged to keep you away from Miss Kessler. You see, she's already given the police all the information she could. I found out where Miss Kessler was without your help. I'd be surprised if I couldn't find out a lot more without you. I wish you luck. But listen. No use talking to him, Mr. Walker. At 10.32, we have to alert Operation Tourist to go into action. The Bosphorus is the link between the Black Sea and the Sea of Marmara. That tower is where Hero waited for Leander, according to the famous legend. <laughs> He tricked us. Nothing but common sugar in this bottle. Oh, don't do that. It's hard on the rug. Besides, you're wasting it. There's lots of energy in sugar. You think I need energy, eh? <coughs> Shapiro, tell the boys I want to see them for a minute. Sergeant Oshkan, what do you want? There's been a change in plans. Operation Tourist has been called off. We've been instructed to take you back to headquarters. That's all. All right, pull up alongside. Something's wrong, or I'm sure the inspector's plans wouldn't have changed. Uh, that's peculiar. What do you think it is? Well, it sounds like he's found Roland. It might be another trap. No one could possibly know the inspector's code word, Tourist. Come on, Layla. May I come along with you? Of course. Thanks. Okay. They're all on board the patrol boat. What was Inspector Raybot's reason for calling this whole thing off? I don't know about him, but the boss is anxious to talk to you. Commissar X. They've tricked us! <laughs> She's gonna pay for it if you don't stop. Remains of your brother if you look around. Next to the pretty cigarette girl. There's a boat approaching the tower. I think it's on. We have to get him to talk. Listen, Captain. If you want to save your friends from an unpleasant death, then tell us what you've done with the LSD. Let's go. So you see, it depends on you, Captain. Where is the LSD? You probably were followed. I wish you'd let me take care of him. We have an old score to settle. Okay, as long as you take him downstairs when you're done. Right, let's go.
God, it's Giselle. Rats. You're all right. Rats. Take it easy. Easy does it. Hold it. Get your hand up. Watch it. You could have a bad fall from here. If anybody falls, it'll be you. You're mistaken. Can't say I didn't warn you. Ow! to give in. You might save the girls if you tell them where the LSD is. Maybe you're right. But only if I tell it to their boss. What if it's just another trick? What if they don't intend to let us go once they have this stuff? We'll all end up like my brother. They better not try it. It's the fisherman. We better get out of here. Those guys are dangerous. Customers. There's too many of them for us. Put the prisoners on the boat. Yeah. Abdul, try to keep the fishermen here for as long as you can. Then meet me in the valley of the Thousand yeah. Hills. with the rats. Open the glass door. <laughs> Come on, try the elevator cage. You're a pretty good shot. I worked in a vaudeville act called William Tell Jr. <laughs> Where's Layla? They took her with them. Listen, I'm all for getting out of here. How about you? They can catch us. Well, I'll maneuver those tubs any day. After having examined the reports, the general took the following decision regarding the LSD. It's essential that the drug not be allowed to fall into the hands of this criminal organization, whatever the cost involved. In other words, the LSD must be returned to us, even if it means the loss of human lives. We're all under an obligation to assist NATO in recovering this dangerous drug and to follow the general's instructions to the letter. But Colonel, we don't have to worry about either Mr. Hood or Captain Rowland. They're quite used to this sort of thing. But there are two other prisoners that are concerned. One is a girl whose brother they killed. 
And the other, the girl who was present when the criminals were looting the safe here. Your Excellency, you can't expect us to cooperate if these two lives are in danger. In this case, the military authorities have the last word. I have to cooperate. Perhaps the military authorities underestimate the danger the two girls are in. Did you know that your own secretary belongs to this organization? You've no proof, have you? No, sir, not yet. But I will have when I discover their headquarters. And that's impossible, I'm afraid. Excuse me for interrupting you, gentlemen, but I'm the kind who enjoys poking around. I wouldn't be at all surprised if I knew where the camp was located. Well, of course, I could be wrong. That's not important. Right or wrong, we've got to try every angle. So? I'll tell you what I know. At the beginning of the 13th century, Murad, the eldest son of the Sultan Osman, was envious of his father's throne. In order to get it, he hired a gang of barbarians called the Greenhounds. However, the Sultan found out Marad was banished with the savages to the desert. Even now, the descendants of Marat, as well as the green hounds, live there, like their barbarian ancestors in holes in the ground. Do you know the region? Yes. I learned of it while working for Miss Kessler's father, who was a professor of mine. At that time, I was studying archaeology at the university. Could you show us where this region is? Sure. You see, it isn't far from here at all. The Valley of the Thousand Hills is what they call it. <coughs> You know, that old sultan must have really meant business to put his son in a place like this. Yeah. <laughs> in that disguise, I'd never know you. I wonder. Let's hope the natives don't recognize us either. Watch it. She has a tendency to rear up when anything's behind her. The way you explained it, we can't have much farther to go, huh? We'll be on top of their camp in half an hour, the way I figure it. our LSD. Where? You won't know. Did you set the others free? I instructed the Greenhounds to get the LSD to me by midnight tonight. Did you hear that? Ratin leaves in a few hours. You're going to talk, and if you don't, you'll see the girls put to death. Huh. I bet he'll never talk anyhow. Oh, no. Listen, the boss has a great idea. Do you think it'll work, though? You shouldn't have to ask. The boss always succeeds. But right now, I've got to hold Mr. Ratton's hand for an hour or so. You take care of those two until I'm through. <coughs> Can we get out that way? Yes. But I'll have to knock off the guards first. Should we follow you? No, we can't go till midnight. Why don't we try to get out of here before midnight? Maybe, but it's still pretty light outside. Mm. We better wait till it's dark. I'll help you with the guards. No, I'd feel better if you'd stay with the girls. Okay. If you don't come back, what'll happen to us, Tom? Don't worry. I'll be back. But if I don't make it, the LSD is hidden right in my hotel room. You're the boss, are you? <laughs> hey, 
took you a long time to learn the game. You put out a pretty good act. A few scratches are small enough price to pay when you know you're going to win. You even gambled with your brother's life. Captain, perhaps if he hadn't barged into the room as I took the LSD from the safe, he'd still be alive. I had no choice. Looks as if our friend Hood tricked Tom into telling him where to find the LSD. What do we do about the girls? Well, first of all, we'd better find out where Hood keeps his prisoners. It must be near here. How can we help the captain? We must get a little closer. Let's have a look. I'll be back with the LSD in less than half an hour. Joyce, you come along with me. Shapiro, you follow us with the other car. I don't think the captain would lie to me. However, we'll soon see. Well, I'm not going to wait any more than two hours. All right, take him to the car. OK, come on. Fight, they'll murder him. Without this knife, he's going to be in a lot worse predicament than that. At last I found you, you son of a snake. Where's Lila? A hundred yards south of here. What's wrong with you? The one who killed my sister and her husband will die for that. Beat I must it. have my revenge. Get in. Hurry up. They can't be too far ahead of us. Go on. Shapiro. Hold it! Come on, get out. We'll switch cars, change the tire first, and catch up to us as fast as you can. Joyce, come on! <laughs> Go on, get in. Get the spare out of the trunk, you little money. Hold this, sir. Hey, can't you hurry it up? We haven't got all day. Check the brakes, will you? Throw into gear. You finished yet? One more nut to be screwed on, that's all. Here's a wrench. Thanks. Salam. How is this? Salam. I'll give you 40 piastres for your instruments, son. No, I'll even make it 50. Hey, what do you want that for? Layla once taught me her father's favorite folk song. If she hears it, she'll know I'm looking for her. That's worth a try. It's one way of finding out where she is.
deniz ve mehtap Sordular seni neredesin Nasıl derim terk etti Bırakıp beni gitti Get back in there, go on Aşkımız bitti We must try to signal him. Let's see, how about something... Uh, unfastness. Hey, why don't you come talk to me? I'm bored. Oh. You look silly with that gun. Leave it here and come in where it's cool, huh? Wasn't such a good idea after all. Hey, didn't you see her waving her brazier up there on the hillside? Her what? Pretty clever idea. That Layla's not so dumb, huh? Listen, you get hold of Inspector Raybot and tell him what's going on here. I'll see if I can get up to the girls and tell them not to worry. Okay. They were headed that way when they disappeared. One of them was the American that got away from us in the Citadel. Come on, after them. Ha! <laughs> Inspector Raybot, Almond here. Inspector Raybot. This is Almond calling from the Valley of the Thousand Hills. Inspector, can you hear me? You're wasting your breath. So it was you, Almond. Give me that. Hand it over. Sorry I had to keep you. Now all that remains is the matter of the money. It's a good thing you got here. I wasn't prepared to wait for you any longer. You've earned a celebration. There's lots to eat and drink for everyone. <laughs> doing there? It is the safest way to get the drug over the border. <laughs> I'm sure they didn't see it. Oh, Gisela, they'll find us. I'd like to know what's happening. Since I signaled Almond, those two guards have gone. Shapiro's coming. Shapiro? We'll fix him.
We're sorry. Oh, I found this drying outdoors. I thought you might have some use for it. Oh, your head hurts, doesn't it? It sure does. You can't play chic with only two girls. It takes more than that to start a harem. Oh, pardon me. I thought that's how it's done in the desert. Uh-oh. Let's get out of here. The drunks are coming after the girls now. <laughs> that cave looks like a good place. Alman's dead. I don't know if he got in touch with the inspector or if they got to him first. That means we'll have to escape by ourselves, huh? I guess so, but we'll have a rough time of it, especially with the girls. They must have discovered the girls are missing. This was Alman's rifle. He'd have been glad to see you use it. I'd like to know who counted a thousand hills here. There must be at least 10,000. 10,000 hiding places till the inspector arrives. If he does. I doubt it. We expect to hear from them very soon, Colonel. I'd like to help the inspector out. But you've been expecting your news all morning. The audio made requesting assistance has been on my desk for hours. It's only a matter of signing it. But I need men for a NATO maneuver, too. Not many are left. I'm sorry I can't help you. It's just too late. are Raybot's men. But look, Alan's trying to escape with Joyce. There comes Kamal. He's bringing a pack of green hounds. Maybe it's about time I took care of my friend Hood. You're not safe here. Go back inside.
Where is he? Here I am. Oh. That's all, Roland. Your number's up. <laughs> you see? You should always look where you... Oh. <laughs>
Thanks, Hachi. Too far away. thought up the idea of using melons deserves a gold medal. Was it your idea, young lady? The melon idea? No, sir. He thought of it. Then he gets the medal, the champion bowler. I bet he'd rather have a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad idea, Captain Rowland. Make that a 24-carat gold medal. <laughs> 